I used to damn near kill myself in the gym almost every fucking day. Deadlifts, bench pressures, push-ups, arm extensions, overhead extensions, dumbbell curves, all of that shit. I was doing it all the fucking time because even the slightest bit of progress made me happy. It gave me dopamine. That shit was like crack for me. And for a long time, I would tell myself that I'm doing this for me. But subconsciously, I knew I was just doing it for pussy. You see, when I was in high school, I was severely overweight. And naturally, my like success rate with women was at an all-time low. Of course, girls didn't fucking like me because no girl likes the fat guy, right? That's what I told myself, at least. So when I got to college and got me a full-time job, I told myself, bro, it's time for a change. It's time for a transformation. I dropped, like, what? I think it was five, maybe $600 on those little adjustable bow flex fucking, uh, what was it, dumbbells? And I was dedicated to the gym for a year straight. I was watching guys like Greg Duche. I was making anabolic recipes. I was doing all of that corny gym bullshit in hopes that girls would find me attractive eventually because of how decent my physique got. I mean, I lost almost 60 pounds in less than what I think it was four months. Yes, bro, it was crazy. And after months and months of being 100% focused on the gym, secretly hoping to attract women in the process, I noticed something. Girls still gave no fucks. And what's weird is that not only did they not give a fuck about me anymore, is that some guys who at this point were in way worse shape than me were still attracting the girls I wanted. How can that be? I was so I was so confused. These guys put in not even half the amount of effort I did, but get twice the results. Why? It wasn't until I really started studying and dissecting some of these guys. Pause that I realized a commonality. There were two things that they focused on that they made a higher priority over the gym and made way more results. The first thing they focused on is facial attraction. And for all you weirdo black pill incel niggas, calm down, there's hope for you too. First of all, yes, genetics is genetics. So you can yell at your mom all you want about her vape addiction when she was pregnant with you. But there are things you can do to look a little bit better. The first thing is skincare. And the amount of guys who neglect this shit is disturbing to me, to be honest. You can do all the squats, deadlifts, bench presses, all the, all the basic compound movements you want. That is not gonna make a girl open her legs for you if you have fucking acne scars, pimples, and blackheads. No girl wants to have missionary with fucking Chucky from Rugrats no matter how big your arms are. And you don't gotta do much either. All you need is a good face wash, a moisturizer, and some sunscreen. Wash your face twice a day for two months, you'll make, your face will be night and day. Lastly, for all you look smacking niggas, mewing is fucking useless. You're gay! You're- He's gay! I'm not gay. He's gay! Stop chewing gum for three hours and wearing a dildo across your face in hopes to look like the fucking crimson chin. Bitches don't care about a sharp jawline, I'm sorry. Yeah, it helps, but just be a man and grow a beard, fuck. In all seriousness, bro, I really went from like a five to like arguably a six, maybe even a seven, just from a good skincare routine and a haircut. Now, the second thing you need to focus on that honestly made the biggest difference for me is your social skills. Bro, I don't care if you look like fucking Kino Body or Noelle Diesel. If you can't keep a conversation with a girl without fucking stuttering or avoiding eye contact, you're fucked. But here's some good news for you. If you have more than, let's say, two or three friends in real life, you have decent social skills. You can hold a conversation. You can make people laugh. You can keep decent eye contact. Your real issue is that you're afraid of women. Yes, that five foot five girl with fucking bangs and a mini skirt scares you. But the thing is, she scares most men. Most men are afraid to talk to the 10 out of 10 women in the room. Whether it's fear of rejection or cancellation or just fucking regular anxiety, most guys are afraid to talk to women because it's a challenge for them. And to overcome that, you have to learn to love the challenge. Me and my best friend in college developed this little game we had where we would make a bet of who can get the most phone numbers, Instagrams, and Snapchats of the girls in our school, at least on campus. And no, the point wasn't to fuck all these girls, but yes, I was an occasional bonus. But the actual purpose was just learning how to talk to women, 
have a simple conversation, make her laugh, exchange information, have a good time. At first, it was fucking extremely difficult, of course. But after a while, even though my heart kept racing the same, I grew to love that anxiety. I grew to love that challenge. Because even though I would get rejected and turned down and just get the cold shoulder, the few times I caught a W, it made all that shit worth it. And I know that might scare you, but you've been through challenges before, right? You like challenges to an extent. If you ever played a video game on the hardest difficulty or you played Dark Souls or God of War or some shit, you know what it's like to fail repeatedly over and over and over again. But when you finally caught that W, when you killed that boss, when you got to that level, when you beat the game, you feel like a fucking king, untouchable, unstoppable, like a Chad. No longer an NPC. Carry that same feeling in real life. You gain nothing from playing video games on easy mode. And right now, the gym is your easy mode. It's time to step it up just a little bit if you want to actually get results. But that's it for today's video. You can do all that cliche YouTube shit. Like, comment, subscribe, boost the algorithm. I don't know how any of that shit works. One thing I do know is female nature. So if you want to learn more about female nature and actually attract women that you're interested in, the girls that you actually want in life, please check out the one link I have down below. And guess what? It's fucking free. This is not some bullshit course or some affiliate link for Blue Chew. No, this is actual valuable information and good resources that will help you. So if you're tired of being a fucking background character in your own life like an NPC and actually attract the women you deserve as the main character, please, bro, click the one link I have down below. And brother, don't forget, just be a fucking Chad. Great video. I love it.